So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. The question says a cottonwood tree had a trunk diameter of two inches at the time it was planted. Okay, so I'm going to just write D equals two. And I'm going to say when planted. That's important, I'm sure, or I assume. Um, the next tree, the next sentence says the tree had a trunk diameter of 22.24 inches X years after it was planted. So this two grew to 22.24 after X years. So I'll say at X years. The equation 0.64X plus 2 equals 22.24 represents this situation. All right, which statement is the best interpretation of 0.64x in this context? All right, so here's the deal. Here is the deal. Um, this, this is interesting. So I've never actually seen a question worded like this on the SAT in exactly this way. I know exactly what to do here, but this is a very interesting question. So usually what we'll see is something like this, 0.64x plus two equals y, and there'll be some indication that y represents the diameter um, after x years. So we would know essentially that y was equal to 22.24. Okay, which is how these end up being equivalent statements, what I wrote and what the question actually says here. So why is this important? This is important because when you see it in this format, hopefully it reminds you of y equals mx plus b. Where m is 0 0.64, let's use a different color. And therefore we know that m being 0 0.64 means that 0.64 is the slope. Now, what is slope? Slope is rise over run. Another way to think of it is change, which I'll just use as this triangle, which means delta. Don't worry about it if you've never heard that. Change, this triangle represents change, the word change. Change in y over the change in x. Well, for this tree, what is the change in y? It actually is the change in the diameter. What is the change in x? It's actually the change in time. Okay? So then, what does a 0.64 represent? It basically represents how much larger this diameter gets every year. So choice A here says the total increase of the tree's trunk diameter x years after it was planted. No, that's not, that's not true, right? We can just, in this particular case, that would be just solving for x, I believe. Um, Choice B, the tree's trunk diameter X years after it was planted. No, that's just 22.24. Choice C, the maximum trunk diameter of the tree over its lifetime. Nope, not at all. Uh, obviously not because it's at, it's, at, it's at two when you first plant it. So how would it be at 0.64 after its whole lifetime? So choice D, the total increase of the tree's trunk diameter each year after it was planted. There we go. There's my rate, right? Increase in tree's trunk diameter each year. So there's the rate, there's the slope. Choice D is the correct answer.